Hello, Sarah's family. I hope you all are doing wonderful today. My name is Nati. So, I want to help you right into your energy. I want you all to help your feet. See what does not. If anything that resonates with you, Sarah's family, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Squad Rose is needed. Also, Sarah's Gang, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love lights comments. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything that y'all do for the channel, bro. I really love and appreciate you all. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to do one more shuffle. We're going to have to put it in here for a second series, please. Okay, let's see. I hate when this card falls over here like this. Alright, y'all are paying attention to the red flags right now. Something is cautioning you. Um, it could be a spirit guide cautioning you. An uh, ancestor cautioning you to pay attention to the red flags or to research or something. Yeah, so there's a <clears throat> there's an ancestor here or a spiritual guide. Someone here um, is cautioning you to pay attention to the red flags. Ooh, flags. Pay attention to your ancestor here. I feel like this is an ancestor because she kind of looked like her. <coughs> um... So, yeah, your ancestors is cautioning you about something or someone. Let's see. About having passion with someone. <laughs> Energy from such a series, please. Thank you. It could be your ancestors are cautioning you about a group of people here. It could be with lovers and friends, or it could be a group of people who you uh, are devoted to, or a community of people here. Okay, what's the energy for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So, you are being cautioned here by your ancestors to separate from someone here. Uh, for a true love. Okay. Um, maybe you're getting to know someone, or you could have gotten to know someone. You could have gotten to know a group of people. This can be at work. Uh, maybe you got to know someone and this person had a lot of passion. They were dealing with others. They put you in a third party situation here. Okay. Um, but you are being cautious to separate here from whoever this is, this group of people, this person, these friends. Okay. It's not these group of people or this person is not true here. It's not true love. It's not real genuine friendship. It's not real genuine passion. Spirit is saying that you deserve um, real true love and passion here. Okay? And that's going to be coming in very soon once you separate. I do feel like um, some of y'all could have a lot of children. <laughs> okay? Y'all can have one, two, three. Y'all can have about three children. Maybe four. Okay. Um, but I feel like you're going to find someone that's going to love you and your children. Okay. This is going to be worth waiting for. But first you have to love yourself here. You got to go through a healing phase or a healing. You got to heal from this. Okay, because spirit is saying you deserve love, but you got to heal. You got to heal family issues. <clears throat> um, you got to heal uh, inner childhood wounds. You got to heal the pain that this person could have caused. Maybe you actually had a family with this person. Um, you got to heal so much before you hop into this real energy here. But whatever you are in right now is not real. You are not healed. It's not real till you heal, baby. <laughs> okay? It ain't real till you heal. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, look. We got another red flag. We got another red flag here. So, let's 
So, yeah, be cautious. Your ancestors are cautioning you about a red, like, these. there's a red flag in the connection, in a friendship, or with a group of people here, or it could be both. Alright, uh, thank you. Thank you for Sagittarius. <clears throat> someone is full of passion or someone could just be using you for sex here. There's some sort of plot twist here. Definitely with friends, okay? Both is with lovers and friends. You are being cautious about these lovers and these friends here. Maybe texting them, communicating with them. Co-workers then. I say that lust. Maybe having passion with co-workers here. Okay, someone could be having passion with co-workers and that's going to come out. Maybe someone is going to have to confess to this. Maybe someone's job is going to be on the line because they've been meeting up with co-workers. So yeah, you are being... Someone could have a family dynamic here, yeah. <clears throat> Pay attention to the red flags, okay? Because I feel like if this is someone at work, is it going to be like a manager or something? They're going to try to manipulate your job. They're going to stress you out at work. Like, don't miss this person. Don't miss personal with business with pleasure. I, I've learned that a long time ago. <laughs> and I think some of y'all, uh, your ancestors is trying to warn you about missing business with pleasure, okay? <clears throat> Maybe dealing with clients, okay? It's something here going on. Alright, don't be a fool here. Don't get trapped into that. Don't be a fool. Alright, let me go to the please, Spirit. Thank you. Oh, someone has a family here. Or <clears throat> there's a real commitment coming towards you worth waiting for. Okay. Once you, once you, like, someone is refusing to sacrifice something or someone is actually being manipulated, manipulated, if this is, like, a manager at work or a co-worker, okay, someone could get a speeding ticket or be driving too fast, someone's gonna be doing 60 and a 30, <laughs> be careful for that, um, I feel like there's a cycle that got to end here. There is a cycle that needs to end here, Sarge, okay? There's some sort of loss or heartbreak that got to happen. Um, unfortunately, for this cycle to end here, someone, someone has multiple options, okay? Or someone is daydreaming at work about being with you. <clears throat> someone is... Someone is secretly daydreaming about being with you, or you can have something here, okay, where once you release, uh, you're being urged to keep this a secret, or maybe you have been manifesting, or you have been imagining this new life for yourself with this new love. Once you release, it's going to happen fast here. It's just really going to take off. I feel like someone here is always in the clouds here at work and daydreaming about you. Someone be... <clears throat> Someone at your job be daydreaming about you. <clears throat> Someone wants to know did you give up on them? Alright, so I feel like for some of you you are. Uh you are going to pay attention to the red flags that your ancestor is. Some of these people could be sexually harassing or stalkers at work. I made a promise to someone to leave you alone, but I don't know if I could do that. What is going on here? <clears throat> Someone is stalking you that way? Do you still love me? I can't picture you with anyone else but me. I hope it's not too late. This sounds like a little stalker or a creep here. I don't know if y'all got yourself in something crazy with somebody. Okay, 
Let's see. Let me see if it's Sagittarius. Y'all, I don't know what that's about. Maybe someone is, something is ending. This could be at someone's job, I'm telling you. I'm definitely getting that so much job at. <clears throat> someone, someone want to know, did you give up on them? Maybe some of y'all are not even showing up to work. Or some of y'all are not showing up in a relationship. This could be sexual harassment here. Maybe y'all have already told HR here. With I'm getting HR with the high priestess, okay? So some of y'all have already told HR in the high fit here. Maybe y'all even escalated this, but someone is still like, they like, I don't know if I can stop watching you or bothering you. Like, <clears throat> this is a creep. Look, this is confirmation. Someone is at stopping you at work. This is possible sexual harassment here. <clears throat> this is the truth. <laughs> okay. This is the truth. All right. Uh, some of y'all are just going to move away from the job. Or y'all going to go to another department. Because it's like, even though you told this person, it's like, you still got to see this person because y'all work in the same department, but y'all finna move to another department. <clears throat> you finna get a new manager. You finna get a new manager. This could be a lady manager at work, or this could be a male man manager that is doing this to you at work. Okay, or maybe <clears throat> the lady manager is going to make sure that you move to another department because you are getting harassed, or so they're gonna they're gonna pull you from that department. I'm telling you, they're they're gonna find out. They're gonna be shining the light on this. There's about to be an investigation at at someone's job here about someone's manager sexually harassing people. <clears throat> Okay, because I feel like it's been going on for a long time and no one ever did nothing about it. But this this lady or this man, just take care of it, it's going to shine a light on the toxic shit that's been going on at work. <clears throat> They're going to shine a light on this. Maybe someone could even be getting paid more than what they're supposed to because the manager, this is a manager in a high position. Um, they could be getting, they could be giving someone more. Yeah, they could be giving someone more accolades or something than what they deserve or more praise or recognition here. When this person don't even deserve that here with the King of Pentacles. This person has been doing a lot of injustice. They've been lying about their. They've been doing some fucked up shit here. I'm telling you, they've been. <clears throat> they've been having some passion with somebody on the job. It could be at least three people here that they've done this to. You. It could be a man and another lady. <laughs> Or it just could be, okay, if there's a feminine energy, but this person has done this to three people. They have even at least traveled to see some of these people, okay, because some of these jobs, um, <clears throat> some of these jobs you got to travel to or, like, some of these jobs don't require you to travel to work. So this person travels to see other people here.
<clears throat> this person travels to see other people and I feel like they could have tried to do this to you maybe they never said nothing they was just watching you or they daydream about this with you they daydream about somebody's boss got a sexual porn addiction I don't know whose boss this is like ew <laughs> who the fuck boss is this <laughs> Get them up out of there. Get them up out of these people's establishment. I feel like they're daydreaming about being in a connection with you. Oh, man. This is someone's supervisor or someone's boss. Um... And I feel like, I feel like this, this person here, maybe you not really, you don't really, even though you, they daydream about you or something, they don't, now for some of these people, they are doing this for actually harassing y'all. For some of these people, they are just daydreaming about having sex with you or something. But if this is someone that's actually daydreaming about it and just watching you, y'all don't know or y'all really don't care. So, <laughs> it's like they don't pour into you like with your finances or give you any increase or something like this at work. Okay, so yeah, they don't, they don't really give you any, cause you don't come off to them or you don't pour into them. Now this is just for the ones who, like you just completely avoid this person on that type of time. Okay, this is the truth. <laughs> Maybe they know that you know the truth. Um. Also at work I feel like somebody breaks Is also being watched or something Someone breaks Or Someone's like lunch time <clears throat> Maybe someone medical breaks. Someone's accommodations. Okay, so that's being watched. Um, maybe you they won't want you to approve this. You're going to have a manager that's going to come to you about your improvement, being back from your breaks and lunches, because it can affect others at work. <sighs> okay. Um. Okay, yeah, so I don't know. Y'all got a lot of shit going on at y'all work. All right, um. There's a lot going on at work, y'all. Let me get one more card. Some of y'all not getting raises or something, or some of y'all have some sort of medical leave here, and y'all haven't been getting y'all money after a surgery. Y'all had to stop working for a while. Y'all been trying to reach out to your doctor or your manager and maybe like for communication and your manager is not responding. Your manager is ignored. I can't make this up. 
I cannot make this up. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Um. It's some time frame or something for someone to investigate your claim. For them to release your money. <laughs> okay. Okay, so yeah, y'all got a lot going on at work. Um, Cause y'all trying to get some money. Y'all trying to get a raise. Y'all just wanna be happy at work. Uh, then y'all got this crazy ass sexual manager. But y'all gonna get some help in the end, okay? Maybe some of y'all just don't even wanna come to work. It's that bad. Okay. But things gonna change. If anything resonates, hit that like button. Comment, subscribe to the channel. Swat Rose is needed. And until next time, bye.